What's good, beauty gang? African Beauty here to give you guys a get ready with me basic everyday school slay. So hopping right into the video, I'm starting with my eyebrows using the NYX Eyeliner and Brow Pencil. This is the color Black Brown. I typically like my eyebrows to be dark for that like basic slay type of look because dark brows are equals kind of like bold brows. So yeah. I start by lining the bottom half of my brow and then I go ahead and start filling it in. As you see, I do not fill in the very front of my brows because I don't want harsh looking brows. I'll use eventually my spoolie that you guys will see to blend it in. Like right here, the spoolie kind of blends it out a little bit so they're not as harsh as the rest of the brow. That's just how I like doing it. It's your choice, but that's how I do my brows. Then I go in with some mascara with using a very thin brush and I go ahead and just do the front area of my brows because that's where my hairs are the sparses but I want them to be able to show. Then I go ahead and use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toast and conceal underneath my brows to give it that very clean look so you'll see me conceal underneath both brows and on top of both brows. And you'll see here that I don't conceal at the very top of my brows because I don't want those box shaped brows so I start midway in my brow. Then I go ahead and clean up the concealer using a Q-tip. It gives me a lot of control on how I want the concealer to lay. And yeah, that's why I use my Q-tip. That's kind of like my secret weapon to all makeup hacks. Yes, I do use a makeup sponge, a very cheap one, just to wipe off some of the concealer on the top part of the brow. For some reason, when I put concealer on the top part of my brow, it's a little bit harder to get to blend in, so the makeup sponge allows me to get that in really good. And there you have it, the brows are slayed. On to the neck. I am taking my e.l.f. eyeliner pen with a felt tip to go ahead and create a wing liner. Now granted, you can see here that I do have hooded eyelids, and I am no expert on how to slay a wing liner, so don't quote me on this, but I have noticed with my hooded eyelids that the thinner the line, the better that it turns out for me personally. So if you have my situation, try to make sure you make as thin of a line as possible. For my lashes, I am using the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express, and I love the way it adds so much volume and definition to my lashes. And then as always, I use my handy dandy Q-tip to clean up any leftover residue. Now I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Cottage Cheese into my tear ducts just to kind of give my eyes a little pop. And then I'm going to start highlighting underneath my ideal areas which is my brow bone well right underneath the arch specifically and then you're gonna see me put it on the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose and on my high cheekbones and I don't use any brush to blend them out I just go ahead and use my fingertip because me personally the fan brush does not ever do the trick for me and I just feel like with my finger I have a lot more control of how I want the highlighter to be distributed and then again you see me using my q-tip because I don't want the highlighter to be too bold under my brow I just want it to be very subtle so that you can see it. Now moving on to my lips, I am again using the NYX liner in the color black brown to line my lips. I've been really into that lately and I think I got it from like 90s vibe type stuff. I love lining my lips and then adding the NYX butter gloss in the color ginger snap over top of them. I feel like it just makes my lips look so beautiful and so plump and just luscious. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Then of course I clean up any of my mistakes with a Q-tip. And the last thing I do to go ahead and finish off this basic everyday school slate is line my waterline with a black eyeliner to give my eyes that extra pop, you know? So, there you have it. Now transitioning into my hair, I had this scarf on my head to make sure that my frontal laid as flat as possible when it was time to take it out. Um, I'm just going to kind of brush my hair through a little bit and apply my gold hoop earrings because I just think that that's just slayage in itself. I love gold. I love big hoops. So, that was like the ideal thing to add to this look. And there you have it folks, I am ready to slay school all day, every day, red hair popping. And just a quick look at my outfit, this jumpsuit is from Shein, and it's actually not Adidas surprisingly, ain't that cute, ain't it cute? But girl, I go ahead and rock the Adidas shoes with the Adidas jumpsuit, quote unquote, in my Adidas backpack, and I am ready to slay the day. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more get ready with me's or get ready with me chit chats, please go ahead and leave comments below to let me know. And I definitely will be doing that for you guys very, very soon. Until next time, guys. Love you, beauty gang. Bye.